Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Coliseum. As we were in the Mount Battle Challenge, we were running through to level our team. We've got Quagsire, who's at level 34. One more, and then we can move the EXP share up to Entei, or Suicune. We'll move it up to Suicune, finish off that last level, and then we'll continue Entei. But we're going to start challenge number 41, Area 5. Now, I'm not sure how many spots I'll actually be able to get through this time. I know the first two times I got through 20 spots each time. But they are starting to get harder. So I might not be able to continually get through 20 each time. Alright, we're gonna go for Faint Attack on Chimchow and Psybeam on Pikachu. I don't know if we're to the point where we need to use Psychic yet. I don't remember, that's the problem. Okay, looks like we're still not to the point we need to use Psychic yet. But we are getting there. Psybeam and Faint Attack, a beautiful combo. Also, thank you everyone that continually comes out to these episodes, to the episodes on Friday for Digimon Story, Cyber Sleuth, for the people that come to Digimobs, and for those that come out to the streams on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 5 p.m., and the ones on Saturdays that can be at various times. It's always a pleasure getting to talk with everyone. I will say I have been thinking about changing times for Saturdays, but I'm not sure. Also, I will go ahead and announce it as of this video and for the next couple of videos, at least for the next week and a half of videos this is the earliest I'm gonna do this announcement October we are going to be doing a month-long stream oh month-long streams over on twitch every day streaming if it's Monday through Friday it starts at 5 p.m. or a little after that depending on traffic and as long as nothing else is holding me up Weekends are a little more movable. They could be starting it. Most of the time, I try to start around 4 p.m. on Saturdays, normally. But that will also include... That will also include Sundays now. As long as nothing else is going on I will be here I will be on Twitch streaming every single day now normally what would that mean for now eh, we don't need yawn uh, what would that mean for the videos nothing we will still have content coming out I might actually do a month long of daily uploads now how does that work with three series considering considering everything I will probably try to think of how it will work but as of right now I don't have a plan for how it'll work but let's keep going up Mount Battle. Noctowl and Linoon. So a lot, a lot of these Pokemon are easily takeable by Umbreon and Espeon, I've noticed. As we're going, a bunch of them are, 
hey, feint attack can work here. Like, Linoon right here. Uh, I don't know why I used Psychic against Noctowl. Ooh, critical. Because if I remember correctly, I think he's mid I think he is normal flying, but he's the bird that I always might get confused, and he might be Psychic Flyer. I might also... I always think... I always... Hmm, yeah. He might not be Psychic Flyer, because he might be the one that's like, ah, uh, yeah, he could learn some Psychic moves, but he's not a Psychic Flyer. He might just be a normal Flyer. Second gen was weird. Okay, stop with the fury swipes. You're getting on my nerves. Linoon. I also don't... I think I'm using Psychic because, honestly, it's just an easier click to press A. Oh! The... Uh, I don't know why I didn't even think about that. We need to switch the EXP share. Quags are already hit 35. We need to deposit the XP share and give it to Suicune. Alright, Suicune's going towards 45. As are we. Fun old man Yudon. Right in my day. I had a Sableye and a Nuzleaf, and they work just fine. Sir, those aren't even fully evolved Pokemon. What are you talking about? Sableye is? Hmm. <laughs> Due to later gens, no he's not. What you talking about? He's fine. Uh, I just feel like getting rid of these guys. Oh, Nuzleaf and Fake Out. Oh, that's gonna stop Umbreon from doing anything. Oh, come on! Both of them having fake out? That's just. That's bull. They better not be able to do that again. Okay, so. Completely forgot that Psychic does nothing. Okay, so Dark does nothing to Nuzleaf, almost. What was that move? It was super effective. I wasn't even paying attention. How is Astonish super effective? Okay, what? Is Nuzleaf also the same type that Sableye is? He's far dark type, isn't he? This... Okay, so this is slightly annoying, because I think Astonish is considered a dark move. <sighs> we have to use Swift. Oh, come on! Sableye... I completely forgot Sableye's typing is Ghost Dark, making it one of the most annoying things for an Espeon. Because it's, oh yeah, you can't touch either of these typings. Sableye, such an annoying Pokemon, when I don't have a move that can deal with it on Espeon. I should have just focused hard, but I should have reflected turn one, but I forgot. It's a good thing everyone heals up between battles. Alright. Number 45. 
we might be able to get all the way through 60, but I'm not certain. We are starting to get... Okay, Mawile I think is a steel. Corsal is water. We're gonna go for it like this. Yeah, even a not very effective Psychic is still pretty effective. Oh, he's got a Graveler, okay. So that's... Graveler, at least. They can't do any kind of, like, earthquake. enough, I just thought about these two games, Colosseum and the sequel, XD Yellow Darkness. <clears throat> At the time, they were two games, and they each used one of the trios. So if there was a third game, because this was Gen 3, if a third game was made with Shadow Pokemon, the trio we would have had to use at that time was the Reggie. It was either the box art legends of Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, which they wouldn't have used for this because there's another trio in the region. They would have used the Reggies. Because think about it. We have the legendary dogs in this one for Johto. Then you get to XD Yellow Darkness. Spoiler warning. This game has been out for a while, so yeah, it's spoiler warning. Um, then there is the three legendary birds. This game technically should have had a, a ho -Oh somewhere, but it did have, it had a disc for, I think a Jirachi. And you actually get to see Celebi in this one. And then, The sequel had, and this is part of the box art, so technically it shouldn't be a spoiler, but it had Shadow Lugia. So, what would be the big shadow of the game? Using the Regis as they are, Reggie Gigas would be a would be something cool to make a Shadow Pokemon out of, but that's one gen later, so can't use him. Could make a triple threat and put Groudon, Kyogre, and Rayquaza as the primal shadows. And it would have been before their primal reversion forms. Would have been kind of cool. Hmm. I could see it. Or knowing them, they probably would have just done the three box art legends as the three shadows. And then would have just... They might have said... They might have put in there like, ho -Oh can't be shadowified. And then made like a Shadow Deoxys, maybe? As the penal... Or the ultimate one for that one. Also, yes, I saw two psychic types that I'm fighting. That's not good. Kodabra. I 
Like I said, not very effective is still really effective when it comes to Psychic. say Metachamp's more of a fighting type than a psychic type. My path turned dark. Lady, if you knew it turned dark, you'd have shadow Pokemon. Also, she's talking about lighting a uh, path with brilliance. Give EXP share to Entei. Didn't use fire Pokemon. Wasted opportunity on that one, actually. Nothing heavier than a Pokeball. Your legs? Are your legs not heavier than Pokeballs? You have to lift them to walk? Yes, absorb. And a critical hit does 10. Just 10. I felt like really attacking whatever's coming out next. Just so we get a little edge on. Cedra, okay. I also wanted to see how well faint attack would do against whatever Pokemon it was. That way I could judge who I'm fighting with what. Kinson. Okay. Oh, that needs to go away. I'm fine with the Hound Hour eh, to a degree. It's a dark type, so really need to get rid of it, but. I want that Celio gone more than anything. Celio and Walrein, Gen 3 Tank Beat Sticks. Oh, hey, Spinda. Good job on the critical hit with Seeker Power. Might as well go for a faint attack and psychic combo. 
Also, just this episode, we can see the differences on Spinda. Because this Spinda has a different pattern. I think later versions, they kind of got rid of a good bit of the patterns. But there is so many patterns back in the old gens for Spinda. I think they said that like some of the patterns... Some patterns went forward, others didn't. Zenton. Beautifly and Swellow, okay. Not too bad. The Gen 3 basic starter package of a bug and a bird. I want the bird off my field though. Gotta love Swellow, but want it off my field. Masquerade, okay. Bad, okay. All right, level forty two on Ente, not bad. Ah, Pelipper. Okay, or crunch. I kind of looked away for a second on the move. So, we have gotten through Area 5. We can go ahead and see Area 6 from here. Let's continue. We'll try to get through this Area 6 as quick as possible. That last battle kind of took a bit longer on us. as I could use it, nah.
I know, I could have took out Chin Chow, made it to where it couldn't attack. Don't know why I didn't. Yeah, it looks like these battles are starting to get a bit tougher. In order to get through six, we're gonna get through 60, but the episode might be a bit longer due to it. just happened something flashed in front of my screen and it disconnected my controller for a second from These guys are taking a lot longer to get through. Well, they're taking longer, I should say. I might be able to take on Dakim or Dakim soon. Dakim, Dakim, I don't know. I might be able to take them on soon. They're catching up to us in level. And they're actually starting to get more Pokemon every single... trainers having at least three Pokemon. Oh, Skip Bloom knowing Aerial Ace. Not a bad move.
Yeah, you better redouble your training. Ice type. Not a bad move. Beyond level 51, not bad. From now on, it might have to be down to just if we want to keep going, it might be down to just 10, 10 levels at a time. Yeah, no, Vibrava has potential of having Earthquake. Are you a little bit? I played for keeps. <sighs> Fifty five, though, that's whew. say I should focus on one Pokemon, but Umbreon doesn't have a good... It doesn't have a solid dark move that just screams I do what Psychic does. And 
Psychic's a... Psychic's a turn one... It's a turn one take something down unless it's immune to Psychic. Good lord! I got a crit hit on Slash. I don't think I've seen a crit hit on Slash in a while. I'm glad I got rid of that thing. Another critical Slash and whew, Espeon would be saying hello to the fishes. swimming with the fishes. Instead, it just sent the pearl to them. Alton, I love Pokemon too. Dean and Love Disc, okay. I know how to absolutely shred at least one Pokemon every time. Oh, hey. Oh, it's set a brain dance. Hmm. What? How did this love desk get attract off so quickly? Attract one of those go first moves? Hmm, Entei up to 44, not bad. That Goldine got a move off because of the attract. off the board with Psychic is fun. I could have told you your makeup would have ruined, though. Daily training, old man. You must have been training for years. Nudge leaf and coughing. Old man, your daily training has taught you nothing. Why? Because there's a wheezing and shift tree. Oh my. First, I will show you why you always go to wheezing. Better defense. Well, special defense probably isn't too much better, but still. Nose pass. We're not in Gen 4, so you don't get an evolution to that. Nose leaf. Hit him with that growing pain. Oh, 
Nose pass is gone. Mobile. It's got a mouth on it. Again, if it was a later gen, it would have something. Like what? Like some kind of evolution. Nah, a mega. What's a mega? Actually, that would have been cool. Shadow Pokemon with megas. Does Mobile have Sturdy in that? Because that was psychic. My training fell short. Oh, my back. This is my training, old man. Go easy? You guys are the sixth area. What do you mean, go easy? Corsola and a Volbeat. Well, if you'd stop picking trash Pokemon, maybe I'd go easy on you. Volbeat went for the helping hand approach. I'm going to help Corsola. Hmm. Psychic. That helping hand was useless, wasn't it? Yep. Absolutely useless. Corsola didn't get to use the help. Illumise, though. Ah, so you can set up helping hand on both of them. Nice helping to the end, though. That's twice in a row helping hand is just went to waste. A oh, helping hand might actually get to be useful this time. Level 53 Umbreon, nice, nice. I should check the leveling and see what Umbreon's level. It's, uh, attacks are for leveling. Ooh, Magical Leaf. Super effective, nice. One more in this area. Loco, the area leader for area, what is this, six, seven, something? Oh wow, they're actually starting to get evolved Pokemon. Azumarill and Wigglytuff, okay. We're starting to bring out the big guns, are we?
Ariados, okay. Alright, let's go for flinch luck. Defense Curl does not save you from a good old fashioned psychic. Wilmer, okay, so not everything is evolved, because that would have been a way, Lord. Already just flinched. Oh, I was hoping. Signal beam, that's a bug move. Wow! Need to get rid of that bug. Oh, it was super effective. I should have used Psychic on it a turn earlier. Lesson learned for next time I see Area Dose. Wamba Fett? Okay, yeah, no, you need to go away. Roll out. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, Wamba Fett needs to go. Oh, that's not good. Welmer's gonna use rollout again. It gets a little bit stronger this turn. Mirror coat. Really? Why would you have a... Espeon's not getting more XP until after this battle. Should have used the dark type against it. Everyone can yell at me in the comments for that one. Is <sighs> I yeah, I messed that up for Espeon at least. But that was all the way up through 60 so far. Oh, and Entei just hit 45, so we can take the EXP share off of him and put it back on Jumpluff again. Area 6. Well, either way, thank you everyone so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, y'all.